essentially what you'd have to look at is how you get the water out at the other end to lower That's the top right. level. Then you let the water out of here and then whatever's left back up at the other end goes out mm. with the dam deconstruction. So it's kind of like a stage. Right. So that's another possibility yeah. to help. Well, I think it's about time that we restored Lake Petter to her former glory. In my lifetime, she was dammed unnecessarily. And I'm looking forward to stepping on Lake Petter's pink and white sand shore. I dream about it. I'd love to be there. I'd love to see that happen. Let's restore Lake Petter. Now it's just a big still lake and the water just sits there and as a result the landscape's eerie and it's quiet and it's unnatural. We don't need these dams and it's time to restore Lake Petter, how it used to be. My kids have had so much taken through no fault of their own and I think it would be amazing for them to stand on a beach that I probably won't get a chance to but maybe they will. Well I've had half a lifetime of exploring the southwest and I want the next half of my lifetime to be exploring this place with a restored petta with the landscape rectified in the way it should be and the way it always was and that's a cause for great hope and that's why I'm here today. The water on that side is only two metres below where we're standing and the outlet down there it's got to be more than 15 metres below where we are. 2021 to 2030 is the UN's decade of ecosystem restoration. We have to restore and conserve 30% of our earth by 2030. It's a hugely ambitious target, but it is completely achievable. It's going to be projects, large scale projects, like restoring Lake Pedder in the heart of the Tasmanian Wilderness World Heritage Area, which can help us get there. Projects with such optimism and hope involved, like Lake Pedder, are going to be the pivotal moments in our history that will inspire further conservation and restoration of degraded landscapes. From the Elwha River in America to the Edgar Dam here in Tasmania, Scotts Peak and the Serpentine Dam as well, they can be removed without compromising our energy security within our state. We can continue to provide enough power for Tasmania and have Lake Pedder back as well.